Saki here and welcome back to my channel. So there is very exciting news happening in my town. If you didn't know, I currently live in Denver, Colorado and we are getting a Gucci store. I'm so excited. So we basically have one mall here in Denver and this mall is where I buy, you know, all of my luxury items in person. It's where we have our Hermes, our Chanel and Neiman Marcus, and we also have like Burberry, Louis Vuitton and all that stuff too. We are finally getting a Gucci and I'm super, super excited. I think that it is coming in October, so here pretty soon. So I don't expect that I'm going to be buying anything crazy um, anytime soon because I'm just um, trying to save my money at the moment. But in honor of this Gucci store opening here in Denver, I thought it would be fun to do a Gucci collection video because I realized that I do have a lot of Gucci items. Um, I didn't think that this would ever become one of my favorite brands. Gucci is just one of those brands that like every single item that I own, I genuinely really, really love. So I have about nine items here with me today and um, I'm actually going to be doing something different. I'm going to do a worst to best um, items that I have. So I think this will be kind of fun because I have unboxed everything on my channel before, but, but it's probably been a while since you've seen some of these things just because I don't talk about you know, other things other than bags um, that often on my channel. So yeah, I think this will be fun. Let me know in the comment section down below if you are a fan of Gucci. All right, so we're starting off from worst to best, but I'm using worst like really, really loosely because like I said, I don't like hate any of these items. But the first item that I'm going to be talking about are these Gucci heels and they're at the bottom because these are the ones that I've worn the least. And it's actually funny because I actually find these super comfortable. Every time that I wear them, I'm like, wow, why don't I wear these more? They're extremely easy to walk in. They are like a kitten heel. Um, so yeah, they're just very comfortable. The only thing is, is that I never have an occasion to wear heels, especially heels like this. So that is the only reason why they're really at like the bottom of the list. Look how cute and unique these heels are though. They have like a double GG on this bow right here, which is totally me. And then of course there are these really cool spikes at the um, back, which I just think gives it an edgy little twist. And you guys know that I love things that are like cute and a little bit edgy. I actually do think that I got these on sale at Neiman Marcus too. And that is one of the reasons why I bought it, even though um, I didn't really expect to use them that much but yeah because I got them on sale and because they're actually really really comfortable I do um, find that I still love these I just don't wear them as much as I like to the second pair of shoes are these Gucci like Mary Jane B shoes I actually have no idea what the names of any of these shoes are um so I actually got this one second hand I don't remember I think it might have been like from the real real or something it is patent leather again and there is a little bit of damage I believe that this um, is the damage that came with the shoe, and then same with this little mark on the side, and then of course I've also damaged it myself. Here on the inside you can see these black marks. This is the reason why I don't mind buying stuff pre-loved, is immediately after I wore them for the first time I scuffed up the inside of the shoe, so it's like... It's okay if there's like a couple of marks because I'm going to be marking them up anyway, and patent leather is just impossible to take care of it's so easy to get marks and the marks are impossible to come off so um yeah i just knew going in that i was probably going to you know add more wear to the shoes immediately so i was okay that there were a couple of flaws and plus i did get them at a really really good price um i don't remember what the price was but i do remember that i didn't spend a lot on these i absolutely love this style i think the little signature b is so freaking cute and the fact that it is gold with like a little pearl as well that's just totally my style um you guys know i love like a cutesy girly style so i do love to wear this one with like um you know dresses and also tweed skirts and yeah i just love how they fit how comfortable they are um by the way i think every single shoe that i have um, that I'm going to show you except for one pair is in a 36 and a half so if I'm wearing heels I always get a 36 and a half and then in sneakers I always size half size up and get a 37. You're going to notice a trend in this video because Gucci shoes are literally in my opinion some of the most comfortable shoes ever. I know some people might think that it's like you know overrated or 
you know, Gucci shoes are just so popular and so expensive for no reason, but no, like I've even convinced my husband that these are some of the most comfortable shoes, like Gucci shoes in general are some of the most comfortable shoes in the world because I bought him Gucci loafers and he absolutely loves them. So I'm not lying when I tell you that Gucci knows what they're doing when it comes to shoes. All right, next up is a shoe that I bought for myself last summer. These are like the Marmont heels and these again are in a kitten heel. I think all three Gucci shoes that I've shown you were in a kitten heel. That might be one of the reasons why I feel like these heels are all super comfortable because they are in a kitten heel. But literally everything about these shoes um, make it comfortable so I'm not even sure if it's just about the heel um, height. But yeah, so I haven't worn these as much because they are a strictly summer shoe and this summer obviously I had a baby so um, I wasn't I wasn't using the heels that much so I've only had them for like one season basically um, but I do plan to wear them a lot more in the future these are also shoes that I feel like won't go out of style they're pretty basic I mean probably the only thing that might date it is like this big Gucci logo but I'm sure even if Gucci changes their logo or like logos don't become popular anymore I'll still be able to wear it because it's not like you know that loud or anything I find that I'm always wearing this kind of shoe with like sundresses but at the same time I think it looks really great with pants if you you know like to go that route as well um gucci also always i feel like makes a similar shoe to this um every single year i do believe that they came out with another similar pair this year so if you do like this shoe i'm pretty sure you can find one in the current season or um the next time summer rolls around the next pair of shoes i really didn't think that i would ever own but i did get this one as a present and i absolutely love them so that's why they are higher on the list and these are my gucci slides so i've always thought designer slides were so dumb <laughs> sorry if you guys are a fan but i just thought they were like way too expensive for what they are and i still think that i wouldn't buy myself a pair of designer slides but since i got these as a present i'm so happy that i own them because they are so comfortable so easy to grab i've been using them all summer with killian because um they're just like i said so easy to just slip on and plus um we've been hanging out at the pool um he's obviously not going into the pool it's just been so hot here this summer that we've been hanging out poolside and I've just like been dipping my feet in so these are really great to wear there I know it's kind of like extra to wear um, designer slides to the pool but since I have them I'm gonna wear them and that's where I wear them too um, so yeah they're just extremely comfortable they don't like pinch your feet at all that's what I was like really worried about because my mom has a pair of coach sandals that are plastic and they pinch her feet um but somehow with Gucci magic they designed this so that even though they are like that rubbery material it does not hurt at all if you are into designer slides and you want to spend that money on a pair of designer slides I highly recommend this but at the same time I know like objectively it is kind of silly to spend this much money on flip-flops <laughs> so while I do love mine it's not like something I would super recommend you know what I'm saying but I do really love the ones that I have all right so next is my Gucci Marmont belt so I have the um pearl version that is gold I'm actually missing a pearl right here which is really sad but um, I can probably like find a bead to replace that um, or I might be able to ask Gucci to fix it now that we do have a Gucci store coming um, but yes yeah, so this is a cream colored belt and it is in smooth leather this is actually um, funny enough a size 90 which is way 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 too big for me but I think this might have like been the last one in the store or on the website or something and I just really really wanted to buy it and I'm glad I did because I do still get a lot of use out of this even though it is huge um so what I do is actually kind of funny um so I have this like rubber band I don't know if you can see it but I've like wrapped it around this little buckle so when I wrap it around I guess I can kind of show you um sorry Sally's on my lap so when the belt is dangling she's like trying to grab it all right so what I do is um i go like this and then i wrap the rubber band around the logo it actually works better with the clear rubber band but i have like a cream colored one here so i wrap it around like this and you really can't tell that the rubber band is there and the reason why i like doing this and i didn't want to poke holes in it is because depending on like what outfit i'm wearing i either want to wear it like high-waisted or like right on my waist 
and um, because this belt is just so large the holes that come with it are basically useless to me um, and I just didn't want to like go poking like a ton of holes around the belt so this way that I'm doing it I can just like slide it to whatever length I need and I really don't feel like you can see the rubber band I mean if you have a clear one and you want to do this it will probably be better but yeah like I said this is just the method that I do I literally wear this all the time. I think partly the reason why I always wear this is because I also don't own a lot of belts. I own three belts now and two of them are pink. So um, this one obviously goes with more things. It literally can go with everything. I'm so glad that I decided to get it in a neutral color and not a pink um, because I can literally wear this with any dress, any pants, and it looks good with everything. I also do think the skinny one is like more versatile. I don't think that Gucci currently sells this pearl belt now, but but honestly, recently I have been thinking about getting another um, Gucci belt just because um, I do use this one so much and I don't really have that many belts. All right, we are getting into the top four now. So um, the next item that I have is the Gucci Jackie bag. Now, I actually um, was gonna rank this one below the belt, I don't know, things are kind of getting iffy around the middle. So I really didn't expect to love this bag as much as I do because I just thought the style was a little bit trendy. I didn't know how I was going to be able to use it, but if you guys watch my videos, you'll know that I have fallen completely in love with this bag. It is like a classic to Gucci, like the Jackie Hobo bag is one that they've brought back many times, and it is one of those just like iconic Gucci bags. The one thing that drew me to it is the color. Obviously, this is like the most perfect shade of pink, and I do love the fact that it is gold hardware as well. I bought this one in the Gucci store in Vegas in one of the malls. I think it was like Caesars or something. And um, when I tried it on, I was like shocked at how cute it looked on me. And then when I actually decided to buy it and then use it in Vegas, I was super shocked at how much it can hold. It's really easy to just like throw over your shoulder and you can hold a lot of things in here despite like how narrow it looks. I mean, I pretty much carried it for my entire Vegas trip and didn't feel like, um, you know, I needed to leave anything behind. I think I even stuck like a white claw in here. I don't stick white claws in your designer bags, guys, but I think um, I was like bringing it somewhere and obviously I was drinking, so I just stuck it in the bag and hey, it can hold your drink if you need it to. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, I just think that this bag is super... Um, versatile and you can you know wear it in the daytime in the evening plus it does come with a extra like strap that you can use to make it longer into a crossbody I don't love the way that that looks so I don't use mine that way I actually use the strap as a waist belt sometimes and I think like one of my YouTube followers actually suggested that to me so yes I do really love this bag um, I only have two Gucci bags you can probably guess where in the list my Gucci Marmot bag is but um, yes I do truly truly love this bag and I'm so glad that I actually bought it. All right, getting into the top three here. So these are probably like some of my most favorite items, like literally in my entire collection. The first is my pair of Gucci loafers. I am so sad because like, look at how much I've used these. They are totally worn out. The creasing is pretty bad and there's just, oh my God, look at how many scratches there are. So I don't like wear this one too much anymore just because of how damaged they are, but I will wear them, you know, if I'm not going to like a really nice place and I do just want to wear really comfortable shoes and trust me these are super duper super duper comfortable they are um, made out of all leather I believe this is caskin leather and it's funny because oops and it's funny because I do think that the pink um that this one is called is called perfect pink which in my opinion it is and this is like the classic like horse bit loafer i know that gucci does a couple of different loafers but this is actually the one that i bought my husband and obviously i didn't buy it in pink for him i bought it in black and he also agrees with me that this is like one of the most comfortable shoes in the world i really wish that i could find this exact shoe again but they don't make this one in the perfect pink anymore so hopefully gucci brings it back but if not in the meantime i am seriously looking at the secondhand market to buy myself another pair of these you can also use them as mules if you fold the flap in the back and it's actually meant to do this i've never thought of myself to be like a loafer person but i do love how you can definitely wear these loafers casually and it looks really good dressed up as well like um my husband's loafers are like his nice shoes so yeah i just really love the versatility of these. All right, we're on to the last pair of shoes, and as you can see, I am a huge fan of Gucci shoes, but the um, last pair of shoes that are on my, like, pretty much the top of my list 
are my Gucci Ace sneakers. I have the Ace perforated sneakers where you can like barely tell there's a logo on the side. And then there's of course pink on the back. So I actually got these as a Christmas or birthday present a couple of years ago. And these are the most comfortable sneakers I own. I wear these so, so much. I'm trying not to wear them as much because I don't want to wear them out. But seriously, like no matter how much I wear them, I feel like they still look good, especially like once you clean them up, maybe I'll replace laces to give them a little bit of a refresh, but seriously, they are so comfortable. I can literally wear them all day, every day. If I'm going on a trip, these are the shoes that I want to bring um, because I also feel like white sneakers go with everything. You guys know that I love white sneakers. Um, I unbox them so often on my channel. Those are pretty much like the only sneakers I ever buy are just like plain white sneakers. So yeah, I just think that Gucci makes the best sneakers ever. My mom also has a pair of ace sneakers and she says it's literally the most comfortable sneaker that she owns too um the only thing is is that this one doesn't have a platform and i do love sneakers with platforms so that would be like the only reason why i would choose a different shoe over this gucci sneaker but otherwise this is like literally my number one pick when it comes to sneakers all right and of course my number one pick for my number one gucci item is my gucci mermot bag so i actually um loved this bag and then didn't like it and then loved it again and it's because I owned the Gucci Marmot bag in the smaller size in that like more beigey pink color at first with the gold hardware. I didn't love the size of that one. I felt like it couldn't hold as many things as I needed it to. And when I saw this bag, I really, really wanted to buy it because of the size, but I was hesitant because I was like, I don't know, silver hardware. But lo and behold, this is one of my most used bags in my collection ever. <laughs> I love this bag so much. I didn't think that I was going to be a fan of like the, um, what I call it, the metalacé, um, like chevron pattern, but I actually don't mind it now. Um, I think that it's cute. And I am one of those people that really loves the heart on the back. I know that's one of the most like point of contention with this bag, but I am personally a fan of hearts, obviously. You guys probably are tired of me talking about this, but I love to bring this one on trips specifically because I can literally hold every single thing that I need. And even with the baby now, I can hold a couple of things for Killian as well. I think it's just due to the fact that this is a larger bag, but then also the leather is like more malleable than like, let's say the Chanel Classic Flop. So you can stick more things in here than you think and it's just one of those bags that's so easy to use it looks great in the daytime great in the evening and yeah it just overall makes a really really good every single day bag and i would instantly like repurchase this bag if you know i didn't have it in my collection anymore or if i was starting my collection over this is definitely one of the bags that i need to have in my collection all right so that was all for my video what did you think of my gucci collection what do you think of gucci in general i would love to know your opinions in the comment section down below which out of my gucci items did you like the best if you did like this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up i do upload videos every single week all about luxury so if you do like that kind of thing please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also let me know what collection videos you'd like to see from me i do believe i have have a Louis Vuitton and a Chanel collection video on my channel already as well so go check those out if you are interested. I will see you next time. Bye.